Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate three techniques to help you to compare two Excel lists to spot the differences. Here we have a group of customers who have made sales during the first week of May. Now I import the sales and insert them into a new worksheet each week. So here's the second week. So I've copied them and then I want to compare the list of the customers in the second week against the customers in the first week. What I'm interested in spotting are the customers who are new. In other words, they made sales in the second week, but they weren't in the list from the first week. The first technique will use the match function. So over here I'm going to use the match function. Equals match, and I really like this feature in Excel 2007, function autocomplete. So when I spot the uh, function that I want, use the tab key that supplies the end of the function name and the left parentheses. I like to bring up function arguments and I use the keyboard shortcut control A to do that. It'll guide me through the syntax of the function. So the first command, I want to look up this value in the second list, and I want to compare it to a list of customers in the first week. So I'm going to select the customers. Now as I copy this down, I don't want this range to change. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut F4 to supply dollar signs in front of the columns, dollar signs in front of the rows for both sides of the range. So this part of the function, this part of the formula, will remain constant while this part is relative that will change. The third argument, notice, is uh, optional. It's in uh, normal type. It's not bold. A bold argument is required. So I want an exact value for the match function. That means I supply the number 0. Click OK. Now here's my result. Now it's telling me that I want to look up a value over here in cell G4, which is the value unity. Where do I want to look for it? I want to look for it in the array, which is over here in week one, the list of customers. And the match type is an exact match with zero. So what's that four mean? The four means that relative to my starting position, one, two, three, four, there's where it found the matching value. So now let's click this down. What we're really interested in are these cells that return the value NA. So it's a formula error. It means that these names, this customer, does not exist over here in the list of customers from week one. That's really what I'm after in this comparison. I'm looking for customers who don't exist in the first week. Now let's use something similar. So for our second technique we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. So we'll put over here as a title existing question mark. Alright, now let's use VLOOKUP. Equals VLOOKUP. I use function autocomplete with tab control A. So once again, very similar to the way we started with match, I'm going to be looking for the lookup value in my second table the array that I want to look for is my customer list in the first table. And once again, use F4, the keyboard shortcut F4, to make this an absolute cell reference for the range. Now the column index, which column do I want to look for? I can look for column 1. And to get an exact match in VLOOKUP, we use the word false. So remember, in match function, we use the number 0 for an exact match. Click OK. And so now, instead of returning a relative position as I had with match, now it's returning that value that exists over here in the first week. And let's copy this down. As you might expect, these are the three cells. These are the three customers that we're interested in. They do not exist in the first group. All right, the third technique is going to involve a pivot table. I already have a pivot table for the customers who registered sales in the first week. And as a best practice, I recommend creating your pivot tables out of an Excel 2007 table for this reason. 
when I come back and I copy and paste in the customers for week two, the range for my pivot table will automatically expand. So notice that I put in one extra column to give me the period. So I've selected that. Let's copy it, come over here, and now watch when I append these records by using Control V to paste it, you see how it automatically extended that range. Now, as you've learned in pivot tables, they don't automatically refresh. So to refresh, you come up to the pivot table tools, go into options, come over here and use refresh, or if you know the keyboard shortcut, Alt F5. And now refresh it, and there is my pivot table. So here is a customer who had sales in week two that did not appear in week one. So pivot tables are a great way to compare two lists. You also learned how to use VLOOKUP and you learned how to use MATCH. You can find similar lessons in my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. It's available on my website at my secure shopping site. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.